Hello and welcome to Quick Charge by Electrek, keeping you in the fast track with daily EV and green energy news. I'm Mikey G and it's Thursday, December 31st. Tesla is now listing a manufacturing process job at Gigafactory Nevada for the Tesla Semi, the automaker's upcoming electric semi truck. To catch you up to speed, the Tesla Semi was introduced in 2017 and the automakers said that they would be Class 8 trucks with 80,000 pound capacities, starting at 300 mile range and $180,000. This last summer, CEO Elon Musk said that the Tesla Semi would be produced at Gigafactory Texas in Austin, and now here we are. It raised a few eyebrows when Tesla added the new role on its website this week for a manufacturing process engineer at Gigafactory Nevada instead. More specifically, Tesla notes on the new hire that it will work on the production version that will help define how the Tesla semis will be made. S3 partners who track short selling interests told Bloomberg that Tesla short sellers lost $38 billion betting against Tesla in the year 2020. That's $31 billion more than the second biggest short selling loss of the year, and it looks like there's more to come. On the last trading day of the year, Tesla's stock hit a new all-time high of over $700 per share when the market opened. Tesla's market capitalization is now reaching over $660 billion. Tesla has now opened the world's largest supercharging station with a whopping 72 charging stalls. Since the station is in Shanghai, the automaker announced a new charging station on their Chinese Weibo account. The new station is located at the Jing'an International Center in the center of the metropolis. A small bit of information about Tesla trying to reach their historic goal of 500,000 deliveries in the year. Sources familiar with the matter said that Tesla is roughly at 1,000 units away from their North American goal for the quarter. The goal is presumably to contribute to the target of 181,000 electric cars, but this is not confirmed. The goal of 500,000 vehicles delivered in 2020 has significance since it has been a longtime target for the automaker. In an earnings call five years ago, Elon Musk predicted that it could happen, but not many people believed him. He said, quote, I do remain confident about half a million cars in 2020 and maybe being able to exceed that. That's five years from now. If you go five years into the past for Tesla, we were producing 600 cars per year. Now we produce 600 cars in three days. So I think going from here to 500,000 cars is a much smaller leap. Tesla cars produced in China cost less to produce for Tesla. Tesla executives are linking the price drops in China throughout the year to supply optimization at Gigafactory Shanghai, which they say is now complete. Many analysts now believe that Tesla is achieving better gross margins with the Model 3 vehicles built in Shanghai than at the Fremont factory in California. Tesla's vice president of China, Tao Lin, told China Business News that Tesla managed to optimize the local sourcing of parts, resulting in the price drop. In the future, the executive says that price might be increased as the current cost is most affected by the price of raw materials. Analysts estimate that 40% of Tesla sales could come from China for the foreseeable future. This episode of Quick Charge Podcast is brought to you by Electrify America the nation's largest coast-to-coast -coast charging station network for electric vehicles. No matter where you're heading, they have chargers nearby. And at charging speeds up to 350 kilowatts for capable electric vehicles, they'll help you get there fast. Find out what they're up to at electrifyamerica.com. That's electrifyamerica.com. Electrify America. Hello, freedom. And in Electrex Green Energy Brief, the University of Sunshine Coast in Australia proves thermal energy storage has great potential. The university system has released the system's performance figures and it's been a big success. It generated more than 3 gigawatt hours of electricity in the first 12 months of operation. It also put an additional 2 gigawatt hours of electricity into Queensland's energy grid. The International Renewable Energy Agency states that the global market for thermal energy storage could triple in size by 2030, growing over 800 gigawatt hours within a decade. According to the U.S. Energy Information Administration's Monthly Energy Review, in 2019, U.S. annual energy consumption from green energy sources exceeded coal consumption for the first time in 134 years. Coal consumption in the U.S. decreased nearly 15% in 2019, and total renewable energy consumption grew by 1% compared with the previous year. And finally, in Electrek's personal mobility coverage, Electrek has awarded its 2020 e-bike of the year, the Juiced Hyper Scorpion. 
The e-moped or electric mini bike or just electric bicycle can be ridden as a class one, two, or three e-bike on trails or ridden like a moped on 35 mile per hour speed limit roads with traffic. Whether for delivery or fun or just getting from A to B, the Juiced Hyper Scorpion stands out as the clear innovator of 2020. Thanks for watching Quick Charge by Electrek. We also have an audio version on your favorite podcast player. I'm Mikey G, and I hope you have a great day.